you know that feeling when a package arrives and you want to act cool and don't want to open up straight away but at the same time you really really want that product i had that feeling when this package arrives my new ultralight backpack from Hedegear, a Dutch manufacturer, yes, back to my roots, back to the Netherlands. I was so, so, so super excited to try this, so I unpacked it immediately. And in this video, I will be giving you my first glimpse of the new ultralight backpack from Hedegear. Before we move forward with this video, I want to mention that I don't get paid by Heather for making this review, for making this video or whatsoever. It's a true first glimpse of this ultra light backpack. It's also already sort of small first review because I did the first hike with the Zyno backpack from Hedegear. And if you are already sold by the idea of having a lightweight backpack manufactured in the Netherlands, I will leave a link down below in the description box with our website and their socials so you can check them out yourself. So let's start the unboxing. In this package I got two belt pouches, hip belt pouches, one in the color tropical teal and one in the color lilac. Um, I got a sit pad, which I call an ass pad, also in the color teal. And of course the ultra light backpack, which is called the Sino, and I will explain later what that name means. So let's talk about the backpack itself, the Zyno. With only 735 grams, it's truly an ultra light backpack. It's as far as I know, the only ultra light backpack from the Netherlands. And as a fellow Dutchie, that's something special. So I'm really happy to wear an ultra light backpack from my home country. This ultra light backpack is called the Zyno. And Zyno is the Italian word for guess what? Backpack. So the Zyno is built for heavy duty, like backpacking and mountain tours. It's wear and waterproof. It's made of the material called eco pack and has Dyneema ripstop. So when you are in the mountains or somewhere exploring in nature, with this backpack, you don't have to worry about ripping it all up. It's a frameless design with a wall top construction. The top closes like this. On the sides there are steps as well to easily adjust the volume of the backpack or to secure your trekking poles like I do. On the backpack are two big side pouches where I put my water bottle for instance. And in the front is a huge mesh pocket for stuff you'll want quick access to. The shoulder straps and hip belt are padded, so nice cushioning. There also is a chest strap with a little fluid in case of emergency or to scare wildlife off. Another great feature of the Zyno is the space for the sitting pad in the back panel of your backpack. That way you still have the feeling of some sturdiness and support in your back and it increases your wear and comfort. Also, it's multifunctional because during breaks you can take it out of the back panel like so, to sit right anywhere in nature. Herdekeer includes a back panel with your order of the Zyno and they come in multiple colors. I matched it with my belt pouch and went for tropical teal. So onto the belt pouches. Mine came in the colors uh, lilac and tropical teal as mentioned and you can order them in many many colors on the website like red, green, yellow, blue etc. And I have one pouch for the left side of my backpack and one pouch for the right side of my backpack. The only difference between the right and the left side of the belt pouch is the direction of the zipper. You can easily put these on your hip belt with two elastic bands and velcro tape to fixate the placement. They weigh 65 grams each. They also have a mesh sort of pocket for like snacks or small items. And on top of that, they are waterproof and have tape zippers. So the real question here is, why lightweight? We know that already in the US there is a big ultra lightweight movement, but in Europe, when it comes down to outdoor gear and hiking gear, the waves are a little bit slower. There are only a few resellers of like ultra light trail runners from Altra and mostly when you go to outdoor shops in the Netherlands, I won't name any names, but even when you go there for gear for like meadow hiking or light hiking, they suggest heavy weight gear. Lightweight isn't yet that well known in Europe as far as I know. 
But however, the movement is starting and I know for sure lightweight backpacking and lightweight hiking will be a big, big, big movement here in Europe as well. So take my word for it. But yeah, the answer to the question, why going lightweight? It's just a short answer, just to enjoy backpacking, adventuring and hiking more. Going lightweight increases your pleasure on the trail because with every 100 grams less on your back, you will for sure enjoy your hike a thousand percent more. And especially for me, because when I go outdoors, I really want to enjoy my time and not punish myself with carrying heavy weight gear. So on to the brand. To be honest, I was already looking for a lightweight backpack for a long, long, long time. I got obsessed with all the brands from the States via watching YouTube videos about hyper light mountain gear and sea bags. But to ship them to Europe, <laughs> that's another story. I could easily ship myself to the States, buy the backpack, ship myself back to Europe <laughs> for the same amount of money. <laughs> Kidding. But still, it's really expensive to import a backpack from the States to Europe. And I know that there are a few European resellers here uh, for Hype Light Mountain Gear, but when I looked into the websites, they were always sold out. So when I first heard of Heli Gear, I was immediately sold because support your local and uh, it's a Dutch manufacturer. I'm from the Netherlands myself and they even have a little tulip inside of their backpack. So I'm really proud wearing the backpack. That way Holland is close to me on the trail. Hedegear is a brand started up by three Dutch friends, Steph, Simon and Kees, and they love to go outdoors together. And the origin of Hedegear can't be found in ultra lightweight, but it's found in enjoying nature together and going outdoors. So why lightweight? Because during their backpack travels, they notice pretty quickly that it's more fun to travel lightweight so you carry less weight on your back. And they said your news will thank you for it later. They also discovered that there are only a few small brands here in Europe selling sustainable lightweight and good looking gear. So that's where the journey started. So what does Heather stand for? Connecting with friends in nature, uh, high quality gear, multi usage gear, um, sustainability, transparency about the pricing and about the production process. I won't go into details all in this video, but you can read it on a well explained website and I will link their website in the description box down below. So here comes the best part of the video, the verdict. Before I jump into my opinion about this backpack, I really want to put it out there that it's not a full on review, it's a first glimpse. But yeah, like I said, I already did a hike with this backpack. It was a 20 kilometer hike in France. Uh, it was a thousand meter of uphill and downhill climbing. And uh, it was a 30 degrees outside. So I really tested it roughly for my first test ride with this backpack. And I already can say that I really like the designer from Hedegear, um, but I will test it way more on the Tour de Mont Blanc that I will hike this upcoming June and we will post these videos also on our YouTube channel. So what do I like about the Sino from Hedegear besides its lightweight and it's from the Netherlands? I really like the design. It's easy, it's straightforward, nothing fancy, but it has everything I need. It has two side pouches for holding water bottles, straps to secure my trekking poles and a big mesh pocket for gear I need to grab quickly. And there is also one big strap on top of the backpack to fixate the volume of your backpack or to put on a tent or a sleeping mat on top of your backpack. I also like the back of the backpack. I think it's genius that you can put like a sitting pad or an S pad like I call it on the back of your backpack. I already know that other brands have this feature as well but still I think it's pretty genius. I also like the hip belt of this backpack. The hip belt is pretty big and sturdy so it feels really secure while hiking. I also like the handles on top of the backpack. You can easily grab the backpack by grabbing the handles on top and move your backpack somewhere else or hang it somewhere you want. And last but not least, I like that this backpack is a multi-usage backpack. Since I'm a full-time traveler, I really want my stuff to be multi-usage. And this backpack is the exact same size as a hand luggage for going traveling by airplane. With the adjustment straps, you can adjust the size of your backpack from 20 liters to 50 liters. So it's not only good for backpacking or hiking. Actually, there were two things I noticed that I have to get used to while wearing this backpack. The first thing is that I sweat on my back while wearing this backpack. My other backpacks have air vents on the back pedals and since this backpack is frameless, I have to get used to sweating bags. 
But to be honest, during that test flight, it was like 30 degrees Celsius outside. So I would have sweat no matter what probably. And the second thing I noticed while wearing this backpack is that you have to be really secure with how to pack your backpack. Because at a certain point during the hike, I felt the drone poking in my lower back. And I fixed that by putting some soft materials at the bottom of the backpack. But that's a thing I have to get used to while wearing a frameless backpack. So this was my first game video of the Hair Gear backpack, the Zino backpack. Funny, now I actually say backpack, backpack. I absolutely love the backpack so far and I really want to support the guys from Hair Gear. Steph, Simon and Case are all three really happy to help you with choosing the right backpack. And uh, you can easily send them a message via Instagram or via the website and I will link their socials in the description box down below. I know this brand will be big in a few years it's already on the PCT Pacific Crash Trail, so keep a close eye on them. Let me know in the comments which backpack you use at the moment. And if you like our gear reviews or if you want to follow us on the Tour de Mont Blanc hike, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.